Hello Techies, welcome back. This is the second part of numeric function and I am your instructor Sambhav. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon to get the notification of my latest video. So let's get started. So in today's session we are going to discuss two very important and interesting numeric function called as seal and floor function. After that we will do some practicals to understand seal and floor function well. So I hope you remember this is a list of functions which we have discussed in the first part and also we have discussed this first four functions which is main, max, sum and mean. So today we are going to discuss seal and floor. Well this is very very easy function and very very important. So let's see what is seal and floor function. The standard definition of seal function is that it returns the lowest top integer value whereas floor function it says that it returns the highest bottom integer value and well this is a syntax of it now let us understand what this definition means uh, I hope you have seen this number line n number of times right so what we do is we draw a line and then we mark the numbers so we have 0 1 2 3 similarly uh, below 0 we have negative numbers such as minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Now, if we talk about the seal function, so the seal function, let us understand what the seal function says. Seal function says that it returns, it returns, returns the lowest, the lowest top integer top integer now <clears throat> let's say for example I have a value called as 2.5 assume I have a value called as 2.5 so where will this value 2.5 lie on this number line somewhere between 2 and 3 so let's say for example my 2.5 lies here now can you tell me how many digits how many numbers are there between 2 and 3 yes you're right there are infinite numbers let's say for example if I write here 2.5 5 5 5 5 what I keep on writing it it still lies between 2 and 3 so there are infinite number of infinite numbers between 2 and 3 now let us understand the seal function. The definition says that it returns the lowest top integer. Now this is my value 2.5. Now what are the integer values above 2.5? 3 we have. Similarly we'll have 4, 5, 6. So there will be infinite numbers, infinite integer values we will have above 2.5. So all the integer values lying above 2.5 are called as top integers. So the top integers for 2.5 would be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 100, million, trillions and so on and so forth. But the definition says it returns the lowest top integer. The lowest top integer. So the lowest top integer would be 3. Right. So this is the lowest top integer. Right. So if I want to calculate the seal value. Seal value. So the seal value for, for 2.5 would be 3. Similarly, let's look at floor. Let's look at floor. So floor, what does it do? It returns, it returns, sorry, returns the highest the highest bottom bottom integer highest bottom integer now looking at the value 2.5 what are the bottom integers we have bottom integers means the integer value which is lying below 2.5 so they are 2 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so these all are bottom integers now among all these bottom integers which is the highest value so 2 is the highest value 2 is the highest value so if we look at the flow if we look at the floor 
so the floor would return the value 2 so for 2.5 the seal value would be 3 which is nothing but the lowest top integer similarly the floor value the floor value of 2.5 would be 2 which is the highest bottom integer so seal value returns the lowest top integer and floor returns the highest bottom integer let us take another example let's say i am saying minus 2.7 right so minus 2.7 will also lie somewhere here assume this is my minus 2.7 so this is my minus 2.7 now let us see what will be the seal value and the floor value for this so let's say we want to find the seal value and the floor value so the definition says the lowest top integer right so what are the top integers for 2.7 it is minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 and so on and so forth so which is the high which is the lowest value so the lowest value would be minus 2 so the seal value for minus 2.7 would be minus 2 and the floor value as the definition says returns the highest bottom integer so the bottom integers are minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 and so on and so forth but minus 3 is the highest value because it is a negative number so it will be the floor value for minus 2.7 would be minus 3 i hope you are clear with the seal and floor function so let us do an example to understand this so let's create a data set called as seal underscore floor one right now let's say a is equal to the initial value was 2.5 which i have taken in the example so let's say seal value so what will i do now the argument says seal <coughs> sorry the syntax of the seal function says the seal the function name and then you have to pass the argument so this argument could be again a numeric variable or a numeric constant you can use either of them now I will give a semicolon similarly I will find the floor value of it which will be floor of a run and let us print the result print data is equal to seal underscore floor one run. so if I execute this as expected we should be getting the seal value should be 3 and the floor value as 2 see seal value should be 3 which is the lowest top in top integer and floor value as 2 uh, let us find the seal and floor value for minus 2.7 let us write the code data seal underscore floor 2 a is equal to now let's say i'm creating another variable uh, a called as and let it let it have a value minus 2.7 or 2.9 whatever it is and let's say seal value let us calculate the seal value let it be 7 itself because we have taken 7 in our examples so seal value would be seal of a and similarly floor underscore 1 would be floor of a run and let us print it prop print prop print data is equal to seal underscore floor to run so let's execute this piece of code and see the result so as you can see the seal value is minus 2 and floor value is minus 3 as expected seal value for the negative number the high the lowest top integer minus 2 and this is minus 3 which is nothing but your floor value so we have got the result so this is your seal and floor function thank you so much for your time and patience guys you have a wonderful day ahead and please don't forget to subscribe my channel